Welcome to your weekly news and community spotlight from Unreal Engine. First things first, the results of the 2019 Rookie Awards are in. Of the thousands of projects submitted, all three Game of the Year winners in console and PC games, mobile games, and immersive media, as well as the Rookie of the Year winner in game design and development, were created in Unreal Engine. We'd love to offer up a huge congratulations to the winning teams behind Spire, Exploro, and Soundbender, Juros, Rodeo Novas, and to all of the students that submitted their incredible projects this year. Moving to our own contest, we'd like to say thanks to all who participated in the Cinematic Summer event. We loved watching all the submissions. AFO Studio James Field and Chattamaika will each receive a custom Unreal Engine branded chair as part of our DX Racer sponsored sweepstakes. Check out our blog for a few of our staff picks. During the Unreal Engine user group at SIGGRAPH 2019, we revealed a collaborative project with Lux Machina, Magnopus, Profile Studios, Quixel, ARRI, and cinematographer Matt Workman, which put our latest virtual production tools on display and demonstrated how this rapidly evolving technology is radically changing the way films are being made. In our blog, learn more about how dynamic LED sets paired with modern techniques are being used to transform film stages into living, breathing worlds. Extended footage will be coming soon, and you can try out all of this tech for yourself in the latest Unreal Engine preview. Earlier this week, we announced a new update for Twinmotion, the easy-to-use real-time architectural visualization solution. With this release, you can get from SketchUp Pro to VR in just two clicks. Plus, there's a great new pack of high-quality grasses for more convincing lawns and landscapes. You can download Twinmotion for free through November. When IGN said that Assetto Corsa Competizione offers the best sim racing experience on the market in terms of feeling, immersion, and handling, we knew we had to catch up with the team from Kuno Simula Lazione. The developers explained how they were able to produce one of the most authentic racing sims ever created, elaborate on how they've achieved stunning best-in-class visuals, and delve into how they designed a dynamic weather system that not only looks great, but realistically affects how cars drive. Korean studio Action Square took a risk of developing Gigantic X, their top-down sci-fi space shooter, a genre and theme typically not popular in the Korean market. It was a risk that paid off, however, as Gigantic X launched with success in both Australia and Singapore earlier this year. The secret? The team found that if they combined the arcade action of console shooters with the mobile platform, they could reach an audience larger than ever before. Now available in 150 countries, read more about how Unreal helped them bring Gigantic X to the global playing field. Leading up to the launch of Ace Combat 7, it had been 12 years since the release of the last mainline game in the series. Not only is Ace Combat 7 the first installment in the franchise to use Unreal Engine, but it also marks the series' first foray into modern consoles. To see how Bandai Namco Studios was able to reignite the success of Ace Combat, we interviewed Katsutoki Kono. The Ace Combat producer elaborates on the great links that went into getting the jets to feel authentic, the gameplay thrilling, and discusses how the studio achieved arguably the best graphics for a combat flight game to date. Plus, Kono also expounds on the implementation of Ace Combat 7's critically praised VR mode, another first for the series. We are pleased to announce the opening of our newest studio located in Cologne, Germany, led by the founders of Factor 5, creators of the Turrican and Star Wars Rogue Squadron franchises, Epic Games Cologne is joined by F5's principal members and serves as part of the company's expanding focus on emerging forms of interactive media. We'd like to welcome them to the team and remind you that we have over 200 positions open across the globe, including new roles in Cologne. Now for our weekly Karma earners, we'd like to give a shout out to Clockwork Ocean, Don Busso, Shadow River, MCX292, Jez Central, Kevin Ottawa, Leo Miranda5281, Rolf Sun, Lon, and 6R0M. Thanks so much for helping out folks on Answer Hub. 
Now onto our weekly spotlights, this slightly haunting scene from Sesha Grinda called Overgrown, inspired by Andreas Roca, is our first spotlight this week. You can see a breakdown of their progress from blocking to final renders, which is a nice way to see how the project like this unfolds. Uh, great work, and we hope you'll share more with us in the future. Here we have Grimstar, an action-packed space combat simulator with action RPG and fleet management twists. Command the last fleet of mankind while you defend the stranded remnants of the human race with your fully modular fighter, growing your forces along the way with the hope of eventually taking down the planet-devouring behemoth, the Grimstar. Last up here is Ashes of Oahu, an open-world post-apocalyptic RPG shooter where you tap into the power of the spirit world to liberate the Hawaiian island of Oahu from the army that occupies it. It's always exciting to see what a small team, in this case five folks, can accomplish. Thanks for tuning in to this week's News and Community Spotlight. Mm -hmm.